Well, it's time for an upgrade. I uh, finally got six more of these, so uh, total size of this array will be 2,400 watts. I'm just measuring these brackets so I can make sure that I make it the same as I did before. So I got to drill all my holes and uh, cut these into three inch pieces. Also got to do uh, the ones for Mike's panels as well. We went ahead and ordered, uh, he got six more and I got six more. So uh, there's 12 200 watt panels here. And these things were crazy cheap. Uh, these things are only about a dollar ten a watt before shipping, and probably a dollar twenty-five after shipping. So a dollar twenty-five a watt for all uh, twelve of these panels—that's only uh, three grand. That's just huge in the grand scheme of things. And I started another project last night. I'm finally going to kind of spruce up and finish the painting in the uh, reloading slash generator room. So I got a bunch of messes going on today. So my house is going to be easy because. Uh, the other 1200 watts is on this array here that's putting out 343 watts in the morning. And see, this one's putting out zero. It's totally pre wired up into the attic. So, all I got to do is uh, mount the panels and make the connections, and I'm good to go. Now, I chose uh, two by two by quarter aluminum, uh, cutting it three inches long, putting it down with uh, number 10 screws. And uh, I did that for uh, the weather we have here, corrosion, that kind of thing, strength. Now I'm going to just draw me a line up kind of high to drill the holes to uh, bolt to the sides of the panels. And this is where it gets noisy. Um, the reason I'm doing this in the grass is because if you get uh, all these aluminum shavings all over your driveway, especially a rough one, you can't sweep them up, you can't vacuum them up, you can't do nothing. That's a pain in the butt. Got all my hardware, uh, all stainless steel, washers, nuts, bolts, and I'm just uh, drilling them and putting them on now, and then uh, got a bunch more to do. And there's all my brackets down there. Now I'm just going to tighten them up. One down, five to go. That was fun getting these things up here. Especially with the wind, the help of the wind. It's like carrying a sheet of plywood on a roof. But I uh, started screwing them down. Got four more to go. Uh, we're getting there. So I got the wires going through the roof at a super steep angle. Then I'm doing these tie wraps so that uh, they won't slide in once I put the ceiling on them. Now there won't be any leaking issues here. Or I say that anyway, because uh, the stuff will actually never see the light of day. It'll be covered up by the panel, and uh, it'll be a good seal. So the way I identified the wires as I shoved them through the roof, the positive, I cut it at a, a really extreme angle like that, and then the negative, I cut that one straight, and then I put it through the roof. I'm probably not going to show any of the connections in the attic just because I'm going to be crammed in there. I'll probably be cussing, all kinds of stuff, but uh, I'll show you real quick how I'm going to do that. I'll just uh, show you what's up there and, and kind of just do a mock-up for you. So where each wire comes through, I'm going to strip that back pretty long. Um, this is number 10 that actually comes off of the panels. And I'm going to be running it to number 4. So on the end it's going to be easy. And then as I go down to the next panel, where I'll just kind of mock it up. I'm going to uh, take a piece of the insulation right out of the center. Just like this. Whoa. whoa. I don't want to do that. I'll just do a little cut. There's some pretty tough insulation. This is a 
this is boat cable. This is some really nice stuff. And the way I'm actually going to make the connection is to uh, use what's called a bug nut or a split nut. And um, all you do is just tighten it down. It's a, it's a very good connection. And then uh, I'll uh, tighten that down, wrap it up with some electrical tape, slide a piece of shrink tubing over it, which will go over like that once it's tightened down, and then I'll heat it up and shrink it up. Now I've heard people talk, uh, you know, bad about these MC connectors, MC4. I believe these are, um, you know, that they're not good. They're actually great, but uh, a set of crimpers for them costs you a fortune. Um, buying the cords with the ends already on them and sizing it up, uh, that gets expensive. Uh, you can just do as effective as a connection, you know, doing it yourself. Uh, you just got to make sure you do it right. You don't want it to get loose, and you don't want it to get hot. Uh, and you definitely want to protect it mechanically and uh, you know insulating it from uh, any kind of a shock hazard and also these panels are going to be wired up in uh, parallel uh, not series uh, I, th I think the uh, open circuit on these is like 33 volts or it might be higher than that uh, I'll go into that on the next video tomorrow maybe when I uh, show you the things actually run and I haven't even checked the weather but uh, anyway it was uh, quite a quite a feat to carry these things up there. They're, I believe they're about 47 pounds a piece and then uh, with the wind that wasn't much fun. And then you know the reason I do my own mounting system instead of uh, you know using Unirac or something like that is mainly because of hurricanes things like that. Um, you know their system I think it's only rated for like 110 something like that and uh, I wanted to uh, go quite a bit higher than that or I hope so anyway. And just to update what comes down from the attic, this is a 100 amp short power cable. It's four conductor, so there's two separate circuits coming down. Uh, they're both in one out. I go to this disconnect. They do my uh, lightning protection, surge protection. And uh, then they switch back to number four, and then they make about a 10 foot jump. I go to these disconnect switches up here, which will uh, switch from 12 volt to 24 volt. And uh, then it goes to the charge controllers. And then obviously it goes to the batteries. Well, now I'm um, where I want to be. Uh, 2400 watts, and um, I'm going to do my final connections tonight. So uh, I did a pretty good job for today. It was nice. I didn't have to go into work at all today. Nobody called me. It was awesome. And so now I'm going to get back to my other project until the sun goes down. And that's uh, where we started all this. I'll finish painting the uh, reloading slash generator slash food slash I don't know what you call it panic room something but anyway I'll put up a short video tomorrow hopefully about uh, our output and um, it'll just be something short maybe I'll do some uh, explaining how to buy solar panels voltages things like that so uh, hope that was interesting or informative anyway